typical um, conditions of release for bond, except for maybe the psychiatric evaluation. But here in this case, you know, there must be a determination that she has some need for that. I mean, we know that she lied. We don't really know why at this point, but. Obviously, the court felt as if that was something that you know could continue to rehabilitate her and also make her less of a threat to society if if she got mental health. But those conditions uh, we would see as as fairly typical. Yeah. Now I, I'm curious. So it, it, it seems by that bond condition that there is concern about her her psychological health, and I'm wondering then what that could potentially do to to the charges against her. What do you think? It's interesting because you know we know that she defrauded the victims compensation fund for about thirty thousand dollars. We know that there was a GoFundMe page that earned about fifty thousand dollars, and that her husband paid off some personal credit cards, about eight to nine thousand from that. So it's very possible, you know, the prosecution will argue that the motivation was only greed that they did this for the money. That requirement of a mental health evaluations, it's possible the defense defense attorney may have even um, kind of insinuated to the judge that she needed that because that could be one of their defenses is that this wasn't done as a kind of money making scheme, but that she has mental health illnesses that should be taken into consideration. It's, I don't think they would probably, possibly they could say some sort of insanity defense, but even if not, some sort of diminished capacity that she wasn't aware of the action she was taking. Nobody in their right mind would brand themselves, which is what she did. We would probably see arguments like that from the defense. Yeah, so you, you think that it's going to be used somehow and, and, and to her advantage, uh, because by the way, lying to investigators carries up to five years in prison and then defrauding the victim's compensation fund if she's convicted on that up to 20 years in prison. Um, so, you know, maybe maybe it's going to chip away at that time, even if it, it is during the sentencing period. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Absolutely. Well, well thank you so much, um, trial consultant and attorney Dina Sides.